Hey, welcome to my channel, The Gourmet Home Guide. In this video, we try to help you find out the best popcorn poppers on the market. If you want to see their latest prices and more images and find more details, you can check out those links in the description below. Let's see the product one by one. Number one, Presto Zero 4820 Pop Light. If you want a hot air popper, the Presto Zero 4820 Pop Light is hard to beat. With an average batch time of two minutes, you can crank out yummy popcorn during the TV commercial break. In several test trials, we never found a single unpopped kernel in the hopper. We love that this unit includes a measuring cup on the lid top that doubles as a butter melting tray so your butter and popcorn will be ready to go simultaneously. The only real drawback to the Presto Pop Light is that it does not include a bowl. While some users may not have the right size bowl, this is not a major issue for most. This model is a great choice for those looking for a hot air popper that's quick and leaves no kernels unpopped. Number 2. Ecolution Original The Ecolution Original is the easiest to use popcorn popper in our review. You measure the perfect amount of kernels using the lid, then add optional butter into the same part. Once the kernels are added to the popper, press start on your microwave and prepare for a yummy snack. We feel the lid is especially useful for shaking and extra seasonings after cooking the corn. Once you've concocted your perfect batch of tasty snacks, you can eat it directly from the glass popper. With an average cooking time of 145, the Ecolution Original is about as quick as it gets. We noticed during testing that the Ecolution left a few kernels unpopped. Unfortunately, trying to pop them by adding extra time means you will burn some of the popcorn previously popped to perfection. Furthermore, this device only cooks relatively small portions at a time. If you want to make a large serving for a group, you will have to make several additional batches. Number 3. Presto 5204 Orville Redden Batchers Stirring Popper We recommend the Presto 5204 Orville Redden Batchers Stirring Popper for those looking for popcorn popped in hot oil. Although this type of popper takes a bit longer and costs a bit more than hot air or microwave models, we found that the Presto 5204 was quicker and cheaper than much of the competition. Best of all, the popcorn produced by this model was very evenly cooked, and there were no uncooked kernels. It's great that the popper itself is also the serving bowl. There are a few downsides to the Presto 5204. For instance, flipping the entire machine over to get out your popcorn when it's ready is a pain. Other poppers with a similar design have removable stirring plates, allowing you to remove the bowl from the base of the cooker. Also, you cannot immerse the cooking parts in water because they are permanently connected to the electronics. Number 4. Cook in Home Zero 2626 6 Quart If simplicity is what you are after, we highly recommend the Cook in Home Zero 2626 6 Quart. This 6 Quart aluminum model requires a stove as a heat source, but sometimes that is ideal. We think this would be a fun and useful addition to any camping kitchen. Our panel of testers loved the degree of popcorn crispiness that the Cook in Home produced. Furthermore, we found this popper to be an efficient machine, leaving no kernel unpopped. There are a few drawbacks that come along with this model. Because of its manually powered design, it requires continuous stirring during the entire process to ensure it cooks evenly. It also takes a tad bit longer than several automatic electric models. Regardless, the Cook in Home is a great choice for those seeking a stovetop popcorn popper. Number 5. Dash Turbo Pop Not everyone wants another bulky kitchen appliance or giant serving of popcorn every time they need a snack. If this is you, check out the Dash Turbo Pop. At only 10 inches tall, it's hard to find a smaller popper. The Turbo also makes a small batch of popcorn, ideal for those who want a snack-sized serving for themselves or the kids. Unlike many hot air poppers, the Dash has an on-slash-off switch that allows you to leave it plugged in. 
which is not only convenient but also alleviates the dangers of having a child mess with a dangerous power outlet. Our testing team found some flaws with the Dash Turbo Pop. It makes a mess. Unless you have a large bowl, it sort of shoots popcorn all over the place, which is especially silly considering it only makes small batches. Also, we found that the batches are done so quickly that the butter tray doesn't have enough time to do its job. Finally, it leaves a relatively large number of kernels unpopped, which is a bummer considering that many of the top models pop every last one. Despite the drawbacks, we still think this is a fantastic appliance for anyone seeking a compact model for small batches. Number 6. Nostalgia Old Fashioned Popcorn Machine if you want a party pleaser or a model to show the kids what popcorn poppers looked like in the good old days, the Nostalgia Old Fashioned Popcorn Machine is the way to go. It has a vintage look and happens to be pretty speedy for a hot air model. This popper is on the pricey side. You'll have to drop a few extra dollars for the extra style. Sadly, we found that this model is more difficult to load than more modern looking models and sometimes spits out unpopped kernels. However, if you're looking for a fully functioning popper that looks more like a neat decoration than a kitchen appliance, you'll probably love the Nostalgia Old Fashioned Popcorn Machine. Number 7. Original Salbury The best thing about the original Salbury is that it is an absolute no-brainer to use. Just measure out the recommended amount of kernels, put the lid in place, and pop away. We are huge fans of collapsible silicone, and it's great that the popper can be used as the serving bowl. You can also throw the lid back on after adding butter or other seasonings to give the batch a fair shake. This model comes in a wider variety of colors than any popper that we've seen in case you're looking for a specific color to match your other cookware or just have a favorite color in mind. Unfortunately, the original Salbri falls short where it matters most. It doesn't do a very good job of popping corn. It leaves many kernels unpopped, and if you try to pop them by adding extra time, the ones that are already cooked get burnt. It's still a good choice if you're looking for a specific color, want a collapsible popper, or like the idea of a straightforward cooking process. Number 8. West Bend Hot Oil Theater Style If you're in the market for a full-sized popcorn popper for a business or special event, look no further than the West Bend Hot Oil Theater Style. Once it's set up, this model is straightforward to operate. All you have to do is add oil, add kernels, close the door, and turn it on, and within a few minutes, you'll have a giant batch of popcorn. Although the West Bend Hot Oil Theater style is easy to operate, you will need to supervise the popping process because if you don't turn it off in time, you can easily burn your snack. This model also requires more time for initial setup especially compared to models ready to go right out of the box. Due to its larger size and substantial batches, it takes more time and effort to clean than smaller models. Flaws aside, we still think the theater style is an excellent choice for anybody looking for a full-sized popcorn popper.